When you've had breast surgery, whether that's a lumpectomy or mastectomy, not long after the operation, you may find a swelling either in the breast, the armpit, or the chest wall. Sometimes the swelling can be quite obvious and prominent and occasionally can cause discomfort. So what could that be? Well, all will be clear in this video. Hi, my name is Dr. Tasha and I'm a breast surgeon. The swelling that we commonly see after breast surgery is called a seroma. The body reacts to this type of surgery by producing this fluid. This builds up and collects underneath the skin within the area of surgery. Now, seromas can happen after any type of breast surgery, whether that's a lumpectomy or mastectomy with or without reconstruction. If you've had a lumpectomy, the fluid collects around the area of surgery. And it can be a little bit disconcerting because you went in to have a lump removed and then a few days later after the surgery, you think you can still feel the lump there. Well, obviously this is not the lump because the lump has been removed, but rather it's the fluid or the seroma that has collected around the area where the lump was. And so it can actually feel quite firm and a little bit swollen as well. You can also get a seroma after a mastectomy, either if you go flat without reconstruction or even after you have had a mastectomy and reconstruction. So if you've had a mastectomy and went flat, in other words, you didn't have a reconstruction, the seroma collects just underneath the skin and you can actually feel the fluid sloshing around like a water bath really. And if there's a lot of fluid, it can actually even get to a size of the previous breast, which is again, a little bit strange. If you've had a reconstruction, the effect of the seroma will be less dramatic. You may feel a little bit of swelling around the reconstruction area, around the new breast essentially. Well again, seromas are not unusual to happen after auxiliary surgery, and whether that's after a sentinel lymph node biopsy or auxiliary nodal clearance. And if you want to learn more about these specific surgeries, I've actually made videos specifically talking about sentinel lymph node biopsies and auxiliary nodal clearance, and I will leave the links in the description below. If you've had a sentinel lymph node biopsy, the seroma usually looks like a swelling or a lump. On the other hand, if you've had an auxiliary nodal clearance, the swelling can actually be a little bit more prominent. And the truth is, this is not unexpected because an auxiliary nodal clearance in terms of the surgery is more extensive than a sentinel lymph node biopsy. So you'll probably get more of a fluid collection there. So what do we do to help with seromas? Well, for larger surgeries such as a mastectomy and auxiliary nodal clearances, you may find that when you wake up after the surgery, you'll have drains. And these drains are essentially narrow plastic tubing that is put through the skin and drains the seroma away from the area of surgery into a small plastic bottle outside the body. These drains usually stay in for a few days and then they're taken away or pulled out in the clinic after a few days. However, seromas can still accumulate even when you have drains. And so in some places, you may find that you don't have drains placed at all. So how do you treat seromas? Well, a lot of the time the body is able to absorb seromas. And so you may find that a few days after an operation, you'll feel a small swelling, but this then continues to shrink with time. However, if a seroma persists and causes discomfort, then what we do, we can aspirate the fluid with a needle and syringe in the clinic. And depending on the size of the seroma, you may need to have this done a few times. Seromas can be a little bit annoying, but they're not dangerous. And with time, they usually resolve. I hope this 